welcome to San Diego's most popular local morning news. Good morning, San Diego. Knowing which foods to buy in the grocery store, pretty hard these days. With, you know, one day a report says this is bad for you, the next day it says it's good for you. How do you figure it all out, people? Well, coming up, it's the author of a book called Eating Between the Lines. And she is here with a supermarket shopper's guide with the truth behind the food label. So maybe we can figure it out once and for all. What do you think? All right, welcome back. Are you confused about all the food labels when you go to the grocery store? What's good? What's bad? What study says this and what study says that? Well, Kimberly Lord-Stewart is here. She's the author of a book called Eating Between the Lines. And you have some shopping tips for us. First of all, Kimberly, good morning. Thank you very much. How are you? Very good. Very Listen, good. Listen, let's talk about, number one, the fact that a lot of people are confused about yes. what the heck is going right. on out there. One right. day we read a study, it says one thing. And the next day it says something else. Exactly. I think we enter the grocery store with an empty cart full of really good intentions. By the time we get to aisle three or four, we need a Ph.D. just to figure out what's in our supermarket cart. I do know that by the end of the time, I have some Hostess, you know, <laughs> cupcakes in my head. Okay, well, I'm going to give you some better options good. today than that. Let's right, do breakfast good. foods since this is a morning show. Let's all do right? breakfast foods. And by the way, you don't work for Kashi. But I do these, not work for any of these These brands. are some of the good products, and it's a local company. It's so what the It's a local heck? San Diego company. We're going to talk about the five-gram rule, mm -hmm. five grams of fiber, five grams of protein, five grams of sugar. That's what That's you're looking for. That's all you need, okay? Okay. So all of these brands meet that criteria. Can we take a okay? look? Uh, can we actually read so that on there? I, yes, on the side panel yes. here you can see the five-gram rule. All right? Now, if you absolutely must have more sugar in your on your morning cereal, in your, in your cup of coffee, right. this is a great new product, this Z-Sweet. It's a sugar alternative doesn't raise your blood sugar, has no calories, fantastic alternative, just came out on the market. What's in okay? it? Okay, it's a sugar alcohol. It's a and sugar alcohol. And it's derived alcohol. from plants. So that palm tree over there on your set, it's derived from plants such as that, oh corn, and it's Almost like an ethanol or yes, something. Yes, it is, exactly. It's, it's that kind of same technology. Oh my gosh, right. wow. Right. Okay. All right, now into the juices. Juices. All right, portion control is the key here. You right. always want 100% juice. No juice drinks. Now, how do you know that? Like, when you read the label, it's so confusing. It's 100% juice and then, in like, say, little line where you can't read unless you have your glasses. Exactly. In concentrate. Look for the 100%. 100%. Is concentrate 100%? Yes. It is. Yes. So it can okay. be concentrate but still be 100%. But still be 100%. Juice. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. This juice is another great way to get vegetables in your diet. It tastes really great. It's fruit and vegetable juice. There's a couple different brands out mm -hmm. um, in this same line now. So if your kids absolutely will not eat vegetables, this is a good way to sneak it in their diet. Sneak it in okay. with some juice. Right. And it does taste pretty good. It I've had a lot of great. those. Yeah. So this is another one. This is a whole piece of fruit packed in this little this little bit here. Oh, like a dried fruit? tastes great. Uh -huh. It tastes really, really good. You let me you try, try it? it? I'm going to let you try it here. Is it and like it, one of those fruit roll-ups? It kind of is, yeah. but I think they're better. So okay. that's a whole piece of fruit packed in there. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That's tasty. For a kid? Oh, yeah. Kids would like this. Yeah, I think so. I like this. I'm yeah, a kid. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'll put it back okay. and finish it later. All right. This is another great drink mix. This is coming out. This summer isn't even out yet. Yeah. We're ahead of the times here. This is uh, a good sports drink. Keep kids hydrated. There's only about a teaspoon of sugar in these as well, so opposed to some other sports drinks. And that's drinks. made by the Cliff Bar this people? This is made by Cliff Bar people. Yeah. Right. All right. Okay. Now we're moving into... All right. This is where it gets really complicated. Uh-huh. Egg cartons have more real estate for labels than any other product <laughs> in the grocery store. Yes. <laughs> so, real estate. this is a fantastic product right here, this DHA egg. Now, these eggs have the same amount of essential fatty acids as a piece of fish. Let's say you hate fish. Really? Okay, two eggs, that's all you need. You get the same heart-healthy fats that are in an, that are in fish. The good fats. Yes, the good right, fats. Right, exactly. Okay? Very good. Now, over here on this organic label, you're mm -hmm. going to see words like no antibiotics, okay? Mm -hmm. No hormones, mm -hmm. okay? Which one is more important? Well, hormones haven't been allowed in the poultry industry since 1959. Oh, okay. okay? Yeah. So that label doesn't mean anything. Oh, Let it go, yeah. ignore it, and pay attention to the antibiotic label. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, we can learn a whole lot more by picking up your book and reading it. And you have a book signing? I do tonight, Mira Mesa, 7.30. All right. Barnes & Noble. At Barnes & Noble in Mira Mesa. Eating between the lines, Kimberly Lord Stewart. Hopefully you can straighten some things out. Thanks for the little uh, preview here, but obviously there's so much more in the there grocery is. store. There is. And we can read the book and learn more when we meet you tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good one. This is Eyewitness News. Now, Mark Brown, Michelle Tuzzi, and Dallas Reigns.
to the Southland's number one news at four. Also ingredients and foods that can help you lose weight. We'll take a look at how they can put an end to all those trendy diets. Well, you know, it can seem like an endless battle watching what you eat, counting calories, but winning the war against weight doesn't have to be so frustrating. Our food coach, Lori Corbin, is here now to show us how some new foods may be on your side, helping you to lose those last few pounds. That's right. Or we might not be losing weight. Most of us are on a diet. Well, no surprise, the food industry is looking for ways to help us out with flavors and secret ingredients designed to help make us feel fuller longer. The idea, if we aren't hungry, we'll eat less and lose weight. When it comes to losing weight, low-fat and low-carbohydrate diets tanked. Neither proved a magic bullet, so scientists are back in the lab finding key ingredients to help consumers slim down. We have high-protein type foods. We have foods that have functional fibers. Uh, and then we have some of these natural sweeteners. And each of these offers us a way to reduce the total amount of calories in our foods which is really the ultimate goal here. Chris Noonan's company, Imagine Nutrition, evaluates foods and supplements, scrutinizing research for valid health claims like weight loss. Showing promise is high maize, a resistant starch used in bread products. And this is something that you can replace ordinary flour. You can not only uh, lower the cal caloric content of your food, but you're not altering the taste of it. Along with gums and fiber, this starch keeps foods looking and feeling like your favorite brands, lowering calories and prolonging feelings of fullness. In the course of the day, as you're trying to figure out which foods help you stay satiated and full longest, protein is such a good snack to help maintain a steady calorie intake. Since studies reveal both women and seniors don't often get enough, increasing protein can help burn calories as it takes longer to break down. And of course, cutting back on sugar also plays a role in weight loss. Z-sweet is all natural and the erythritol that is the base of Z-sweet is found in fruits and it's found anywhere you ferment or cultured products. Used topically and in baking, zero calorie Z-sweet helps diabetics and dieters alike. Feeling full, feeling satisfied, usually signals the need to stop consuming food. But there's reasons, often emotional ones, that cause us to overeat. So it appears that these products that help halt hunger are only half the battle to the war on weight. There's genetic factors, there's conditional factors, there's emotional factors, which all play a role in how much we consume. Uh, there are many other steps that need to be addressed before we can get successful long-term weight loss. As you can see, weight loss is a very complicated issue, but if people can just make one small change in their routine, it can lead to some weight loss, which can in turn lead to that glimmer of hope that keeps them motivated to lose more. That's right. Okay. Thanks a lot. All Thanks for right. recording. Top stories and weather before the first commercial break. This is Local 12, first at four. If you'd like a sugar substitute, but you don't like the aftertaste of many of those currently on the market, there is sweet news today. Local 12 medical reporter Liz Bonus has the scoop in today's health alert. Liz? There is a new sweetener you may be seeing on supermarket shelves this month that is called Z-Sweet. And it's something that doesn't have calories like sugar and isn't absorbed by the body so it won't raise your blood sugar levels. We stopped by Wild Oats in Norwood today to tell you just a little bit more about it. It's made from evaporated sugar cane juice which is fermented and crystallized into a sugar alcohol. That's called erythritol. And what it does is this new sweetener uses fruit extracts to change the aftertaste of erythritol so it's more like sugar. The scoop, one teaspoon is less than one calorie. It won't raise your blood sugar levels because you can't digest it. And it doesn't have the same laxative effect that some other sweeteners do that are low in calories. If you stop by to get it, it's usually about eight bucks for about 50 packets. That is our health alert. Going to be back in about an hour with our medical edge. Until then, in Norwood, Liz Bonus, Local 12. Thank you, Liz. Oh, that is so good. This is Z-Sweet, an all-natural sweetener. Better than delicious. Better than delicious. This is actually Z-Sweet. So the sweetness you taste in there, instead of using sugar, we've used Z-Sweet's an all-natural sweetener. Do you like, like it? Homemade. That's really good. Do you like it? 
looks delicious. That really is good. Very good. I did enjoy it. I like it, but it doesn't have any aftertaste. I like it a lot, actually. Yeah, this tastes really good. I think I'll get it and use it in my tea. You know, you don't have any aftertaste whatsoever. Oh, it's very good. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in and try it. Good.